in the legend here and I just found a target out there at my curb strip with the legend for you guys who are snowed in right now spring is right around the corner good days are ahead so I've been digging out a few targets here in my curb strip with the legend it seems to be doing really good in the curb strips I'll just turn the dais on here the dais 2 this is the updated version I'll just turn it on here nine inch coil the sensitive full tones program So right out the get-go, right, I have to do a few things to this machine because it's just too unstable on the EMI now, right? So I can go up with my discrimination here. I really do not like discriminating in full tones, right? I shouldn't have to discriminate in full tones with this program here, right? Before I updated, I didn't have to do all this stuff, right? I did not have to do all this button pushing. Right, so I'm at five minus 5.5 already. I have to go down with my um, auto response here. Attenuate some of that EMI. Right. Ground balance here. Frequency scan here. This is what I've gone through with this new update. This is what I've gone through, right? trying to dial it in All right false is on the concrete right that's why you really don't see me see me using full tones in the curb strips because it just doesn't work it falls on the concrete right So I've, I've gone through my curb strip many, many, t for years, right? The last time I dug a coin out of here was with um, the Deus, the Deus 2. I can't remember exactly where it was at, but I've taken all my detectors over these spots here. It is hitting it. Listen to all the EMI, right? I'll try to change my, um, you know, it, I have hot soil, and this is a very high EMI spot here, right? Overload water meter right there. It's very tough for detectors to hit on coins right next to concrete, so. Yeah. Now I'll go to fast program. That ain't gonna work, all right. It is hitting it, but I don't want to be in pitch tones in the curb strips because if there's any amount of EMI when you're in pitch tones, it's going to drive you freaking nuts, right? Pitch tones is good for a spot that's way out in the middle of nowhere and you want to dig every target. I do not want to dig every target because in the curb strips because there's a lot of foil, right? Foil, I don't want to have to be looking at my numbers on everything, right? 89, 94. This could be a silver coin. All right. 99, 99. This could be a silver coin right there. Right. Now I'll try deep high conductor here. Park program. All right. All right. Ninety eight, eighty seven. Yeah, I'm like, it's probably a silver coin. I'm gonna get away from those power lines, right? right. I'm in multi-frequency right now. I'll go to single frequency and I'll show you. Here's deep high conductor right here. Can't can't do that. Curb trip, right? It's hitting it though. 
but I can't do the EMI, right? I can drop my gain down to like 70 something, but it's not really gonna go very deep in, at se in the 70s. I've tried the deep pie conductor and the curb strips, does not work, does not work, right? Deus mono, no ground balance here. False on the concrete. I cannot use mono free. It's very difficult to, to dial this machine in in mono frequency. I've, I've, I've developed a program in beach mode that doesn't false on the concrete and gets very little EMI, but it's still in pitch tones. But I just can't do full tones in the curb strips, right? Just, just can't do it. I can um, mono frequency. I'll just change the frequency here. Seven point five kilohertz works fairly good on concrete. All right, it shuts the concrete up. All right, smashing it out. I think that's a silver coin right there. But I learn more and more about these machines as the more I use them, right? And I'll show you the legend here with the big coil on it. Let's turn it right on. <clears throat> it's been very, very difficult to me, for me to use this machine in, in a field program in the curb strips too. So here's multi-frequency, gain at 30 right here, right? hard for me to pinpoint that target there right I'm excited about this target actually I'm hoping that it's a silver coin so I'll put in 15 kilohertz frequency shuts it right up right full gain right. falses on the concrete See, that's faulting right there. See? I'll try field mode, 15 kilohertz. Turn my iron on here. Having ground mount here yet either. Ground mount picker. Wow, okay. Now, I'll go like this and I'll just swap the coil out. To the six inch coil to not mess around with that target anymore. I'm just gonna dig it out. All right. it takes less than a minute to change the coil on this thing. Equinox, yeah. I'd like to see somebody change the coil on that machine in less than a minute. All right. <laughs> Having to deal with that that screw there or your shaft and cam lock and all that mess. All right. Let's dig this target out. Park program. Ground balance here. Stand my shaft here just a little bit. There might be another target right there too. Hopefully this is still going. That'd be awesome, man. And my curb strip, man. Freaking hell yeah. Get some hot soil. All right. Oh, freaking hell yeah. Come on, baby. Sit on this edge. Right there. Sweetie. You see the weedy?
freaking weedy in my curb strip, man. Right freaking there, man. A freaking weedy. Look at this coin ball right here. No, right here. Coin ball right there. See that coin ball? In my freaking curb strip. This freaking legend's deadly, man. So freaking easy to use this machine. Freaking weedy in my curb strip, man. I've taken every machine I own right in the strip right here for many years. Every machine and every coil. Wow, man. This is a really high EMI spot right here. The reason why I haven't been able to hit it is because my other machines just can't get through the EMI, right? I have to drop my gain way, way too, down way too far. Not a very deep target there. This is some hot soil. See? The red soil, right? Hot soil. If you guys have never dug in hot soil before, you guys just have no idea. No idea what I go through, right? Or if you guys have never dug in the curb strips, you have no idea what I go through with EMI and whatnot. Freaking weedy in my curb strip. That's freaking sick, man. I'm gonna dig up this other car here that the legend was hitting. I've been digging up a few targets actually in my curb strip here. 15 kilohertz, right? Full gain right here. Right. I was hunting with my Deus 2 just a couple weeks ago. I found something like right here. I think it was right here. It was a nut. It's gonna be a coin right next to the freaking concrete right there. What a ring. I'm hoping for a ring, man. Nail right there. Right here. There's another coin here. I'm just gonna freak the hell out, man. Some foil right there. Big water foil. I'm gonna go deeper here with this one. The soil here is nasty, man. Oh yeah, bring it down. It's probably another nail here. What the hell is that? Some tile or something. Oh, it is a freaking penny right there. Is it going? Is it going? Is it going? Is it going? Right next to the concrete. Freaking badass, man. Freaking badass. Okay. Freaking crazy, man. There's a reason why this freaking machine is slaughtering in the curb strips, right? If this isn't more proof, right? All my live dick videos, I'm showing, showing you in high EMI spots. All the power lines, right? There's a water meter base right there, a wireless water meter base, right? You mark my word in a few months, there's gonna be a lot of people having this legend in their hands and they are gonna freaking beat it up. Right, it's stable. This is stable, this is full gain right here, right? You put in multi-frequency, show you what happens. Right? And I was in multi-frequency programs on the Deus One. The Deus One does have a lot bigger coil, or the Deus Two does have a lot bigger coil. Here's multi two, right? Single frequency, four kilohertz, ten kilohertz, fifteen kilohertz, twenty kilohertz. Fifteen kilohertz seems to seems to be very stable. 
in the high EMI spots. And it's going deep. Little coil is going freaking deep in the curb strips, over six inches deep. And on the coin size targets, it's going over six inches deep. I have many videos showing you that this little coil, just crank it up, crank the gain all the way up. What XP needs to put, uh, what really XP needs on that day is two is a smaller coil, right? That nine inch coil can, yeah, it can go deep, but I really don't care about depth. It makes the detectors way too unstable, right? Multi-frequency, you know, most, of, pretty much all, most of the programs are multi-frequency platform and you cannot adjust your frequency. So you're kind of stuck with your ground balance because you can't adjust your ground balance in, you can't manually adjust those ground balance um, settings in the multi-frequency platform on the Deus 2. Um, in the mono frequencies, I just struggle a lot with mono frequencies around concrete. Um, right in the corner, right on the corner of concrete, a lot of detectors really like falsing on the corners of concrete right there. You really got to dial it in so it's not falsing, so you're not digging up those false signals on the corners of the concrete there. And pinpointing is a struggle in in curb strips because you got so much EMI around. You just have to have smaller coils for curb strips. They're just loaded with old relics. You know, people drop stuff out of their car, you know. Um, when they're getting out of the car. Wow, man. This legend just amazes me. Every time I use it, every target I dig up, I'm learning really fast with this legend. Super easy machine to learn, man. Right? For the average detectorist who really hasn't detected for a long time, maybe swung one or two machines, this machine is freaking deadly, man. Super easy to learn. Super easy to learn, super easy to adjust and dial into sites. With the Deus 2, I just, a lot of the programs just don't work where I take them, right? So I have to just push buttons and dial in and dial in and dial in and just struggle. And I'm spending a lot of time pushing buttons. You know, it, it does have a big coil on it and I'm around a lot of urban areas um, that have a lot of EMI. And I just, I need a small coil in most of the places where I'm at. And I wanna swing fast, get the surface stuff. This stuff is pretty near the surface, but this is some hot ground right here. Thank you for watching.